Nyoi, nyoi nyang nyi wala nyimba. Nyama ka ba ka nyi wemi nyunungo ka ba ka manyal ka ba wemi ja. Ma ka wa mun smaka manyal ka ba ba ka nyi wemi ja bi yo wanga. Sound more language. I explain my mother's tribe and my father's tribe which the manyal ka ba marwunji ba ka nyi ba the darling river of the Barker River. Uh, my title is the uh, West Talego. So Marawin itself means place of green grass and water rolls. So when people came here, the place was nice and green, all the water rolls were full, and there's plenty of bush tuck around to, for them to utilise and eat, and plenty of meat for them to hunt. So they came during the real good seasons. When time was right for ceremony, the Mikikas would then send out those um, messages to let all the different tribes know that it was time to come out and do ceremonies which would take place every four years. I've always felt close to this place. Started coming out here as a teenager with my father and uncles. And they told me a lot about this place and what it is. And all the tribes within a five hundred kilometre radius of this place uh, came here for ceremonies. Uh, these types of ceremonies, like big ones like this, only happened in about probably five or six places throughout Australia. So these places are very, um, are very sacred. Uh, being such a strong ceremonial place. Uh, right throughout this uh, range here, where Marawindji is uh, situated, uh, it's just full of caves. And uh, in all the caves, you'll find all the different uh, stenciling and artwork of all the different tribes that came into this country. Marawindji is, a, like I mentioned earlier, is a ceremonial place. And for us, as Aboriginal people, we're going through initiation stages all our life until we reach the stages of Mikika. Now, each time we go to a different stage of initiation, depending on which part of the country, and if that happened here at Marawinji, you will show respect. And by showing that respect, the way you went to that initiation is by putting up your handprints. And that's recognising that stage in your life where you went through that initiation stage. So a lot of different ceremonies took place out here. Rainmaking ceremonies, men's ceremonies, women's ceremonies, and lots of different initiation ceremonies. So that was a big part of this place here as well. See the one there with the nearly towards the elbow? The only person can do that is what we refer to as a mikika. That's the last stage you will go through in your life. Those are the elders. They're the strong people. They're the people you look up to. They were the law keepers. And those mikika elders could be either male or female the kids of the law, the land and the stories. And if you did wrong with those people, it would punish you. That was Mikika. So once you reach the stages of Mikika, you reach that final initiation stage. 